They're the last orders that are ever going to go out. And they Spread out around this Center City restaurant, evidence of how much Poi Dog was loved by customers who ordered one last taste. But in the end, it wasn't enough to keep the restaurant going. Basically, what happened is we ran out of money to pay rent. Kiki Aranita and Chris Vaca started with a food truck, then opened the Poi Dog restaurant three years ago. Not traditional Hawaiian food. Uh, Poi Dog means mixed breed or mutt. So, what we do is we serve uh, what we call Hawaii's local food, uh, which means like all the different food that was influenced by. Um, the different groups that immigrated to Hawaii. When the pandemic started, the lunch rush stopped. Folks who do business here and who work in the in Center City who come to lunch in places around here just immediately just stopped coming in. Around the same time, the catering that was about 60% of their business stopped too. They made adjustments and did takeout, but delivery services eat into profits and there wasn't much room for outdoor dining here on 21st Street. It was never feasible. Like we could maybe fit one table outside. So when the city started to say, okay, Right. It was no, meaningless. Not Their struggle is happening at neighborhood restaurants and bars across the state and country. Today, lawmakers hearing from some in Harrisburg. You know, we're limping along here and we need help. But at Poi Dog, Aranita didn't object to government restrictions on businesses. She felt they could have been stricter. I feel like they could have been stricter. You want them to be stricter? Yeah, I feel like they could have shut down restaurants earlier. Like, I. I had a few friends get sick from working or going to restaurants. So, like, I very early on, like, did not feel safe working with the public. Now, as lawmakers in Washington decide what kind of help to send, we ask these restaurateurs what could make a difference. Is there anything that you could point to that you would say, hey, put this in your next bill? Um, find out how many seats restaurants have find out how many employees restaurants have, and prioritize the little guys. While Poi Dog is closing, its owners are doing just that, donating equipment to people starting their own ventures, carrying on where this small local restaurant left off. In Center City, I'm Lauren Make, NBC10 News.